The Siege of Sidon was an event in the aftermath of the First Crusade. The coastal city of Sidon was captured by the forces of Baldwin I of Jerusalem and Sigurd I of Norway, with assistance from the Ordelifo Falero, Doge of Venice. Chapter 1 Background In the summer of 1110 a Norwegian fleet of sixty ships arrived in the Levant under the command of King Sigurd. Arriving in Acre he was received by Baldwin I, King of Jerusalem. Together they made a journey to the River Jordan, after which Baldwin asked for help in capturing Muslim-held ports on the coast. Sigurd's answer was that they had come for the purpose of devoting themselves to the service of Christ, and accompanied him to take the city of Sidon, which had been re-fortified by the Fatimids in 1098. Chapter 2 The Siege Baldwin's army besieged the city by land, while the Norwegians came by sea. A naval force was needed to prevent assistance from the Fatimid fleet at Tyre. Repelling it was however only made possible with the fortunate arrival of a Venetian fleet. The city fell after 47 days. The Icelandic skald Einar Skullason gives the following account. Chapter 3 Aftermath When the city surrendered, King Baldwin gave the same terms of surrender he had previously given to Asaf and Acre. He allowed safe conduct of passage for those leaving and even allowed some members of the Muslim populace to remain in peace. By order of Baldwin and the Patriarch of Jerusalem, Bibelin of Arl, a splinter was taken off the Holy Cross and given to Sigurd. The Lordship of Sidon was created and given to Eustace Grenner, later a constable of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Chapter 4 Sources. Battles and Sieges, Tony Jacques. The Crusades and the Expansion of Catholic Christendom, 1000-1714, John France. The Second Crusade, Jonathan Phillips. The Chronicle of Ibn al athir for the Crusading Period from al kamil fi el tariq is Aldin Ibn al athir Donald Sidney. Saga of Sigurd the Crusader and his brothers Eystein and Olaf.